morning guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a healthy and productive day in my life. We are crushing our fitness goals this year. I really hope this video can get you guys motivated as well because honestly, living a healthy lifestyle just makes me feel so much more confident and good inside. So if you're ready to kill it with me, make sure to smash that like button. Alright, time for some much needed self love. So we're gonna get in a fire workout. I'm gonna be focusing on abs and arms today. Sometimes you do have to practice some self discipline to get yourself through the workout. But honestly, it just reminds me of one of my favorite quotes, which is you only regret the workout that you didn't do. And I just think that is so true. But yeah, let's freaking get it. freaking dead <laughs> that arm workout is so much harder than it looks i'm gonna have it linked down below so you guys can try it out and just see how hard it is because your arms literally feel like they're on fire so yeah i am i'm done Feeling kind of cute today, not gonna lie, because I actually put in some effort into my appearance. Lately, I've just been kind of lazy to do my makeup. Like, just I do a little bit, but not a lot. And then I also just haven't been doing my hair. But today, we pulled through, we did it. So, a round of applause for me. Thank you. Yeah, we're just having a great day today. It's a beautiful day. It's actually 70 degrees and sunny, which is just the best thing ever. I'm actually gonna head to the grocery store pretty quick here because I'm out of a ton of food. Food and I've been trying really hard to not eat out. Okay, last week I only went out for like drinks. Like I went out for coffee and then I went out for smoothies two times. So I don't know if that counts as a meal, but let's pretend that it doesn't. But it was an improvement. I just feel like I eat so much better when I actually have the food that I need. So I want to go get that and try to keep this up until I go to Minnesota because I know that I'm probably going to eat out a lot more there. But yeah, here's the outfit of the day. So we just have this cream long sleeve from PacSun, super comfy. And then I paired it with some Fashion Nova ripped jeans that I never wear because I feel like they're just so extra. Like look how many rips are in these, but they're actually so cute and comfortable and they make your booty look good. So I mean, why don't I wear them more? I don't know. By the way, super random, but I've just been so excited about the growth of my channel. So if you do like content like this, definitely subscribe and follow me on Instagram. But yeah, stay tuned because I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything once I get back. is a quick grocery haul of everything that I picked up. So starting over here, we just have some tomatoes, a lemon. Nala's playing with this cap that she found. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some black olives for salad, some chickpeas, three cans of tuna. Got some Greek yogurt because I've been craving the tuna pasta salad that I always make. Kind of lost my train of thought, Nala. Oh my gosh, this girl is a troublemaker. But I got two more kombucha. I got some Greek yogurts. Ari and I wanted to try out this new flavor. It's strawberry vanilla. It looks really good. Then we just got two, no actually, wait, what do we get? Oh, two of these strawberry ones. This might look like an ordinary bag, but there is a cat inside. Nala, you're such a goofball. 
They're so cute. <laughs> and I also got three avocados, some mozzarella for salad, got some more garlic powder, some cheese for sandwiches. I already picked out this pastrami. I'll probably make some wraps with it or sandwiches or something. Some chicken breast. We also got some bagels and cream cheese, more of our favorite barbecue sauce, the sriracha roasted garlic barbecue. It's so good. Butter, more coffee, tortillas for wraps. And we also picked up two different teas because we've been really into drinking tea at night so we got some peppermint herbal tea and chamomile yum lastly for like snacks and desserts we got these reduced to guilt potato chips that are so good i love them and we also grabbed some more dark chocolate covered blueberries these are my new favorite dessert some dark chocolate pretzels and these are just like a random vibe because they're so good and it's the weekend so i thought why not some chocolate chip cookies might make these later and lastly just like these fake pringles that are super good all right time to put all of this away and then i'm probably gonna make some lunch because it is very late it's like 4 30 and i haven't eaten anything i don't know how i'm not starving right now but i'm just gonna make a little something i'm not sure what but we'll see okay i'm sorry this isn't anything really new but i just made a wrap with pastrami spinach tomato some cheese and a little bit of that balsamic glaze then i just have some crackers hummus and an apple i was just craving a wrap so yeah it's kind of my favorite thing right now and the pastrami was just looking so good. Get some reading done right now i actually just recently started this new book called then she was gone by lisa jewel this is my second read for february so i need to get it done asap it is another thriller of course i actually just finished the other one that i was reading and it was so freaking good like highly recommend it guys 10 out of 10 like it just had some crazy ass plot twist it was pretty messed up but like it was really good and as always my goal for reading every day is just to read at least 10 pages a day i swear it's been helping me read so much more because it's just such an achievable goal like it's super easy to read just 10 pages so yeah i'm really excited to get more into this it sounds like a really interesting book it's about a girl who went missing so yeah pretty creepy so we shall see what happened to her it's also kind of a vibe right now it's currently sunset okay you totally cannot see out my window but I will probably be turning on my galaxy lights and my salt rock lamp soon to really set the mood. I'm gonna write on my to-do list right now for tomorrow. I always do this the night before because I just like waking up knowing exactly what I need to do. Just write down my main priorities that I should get done. And if I don't get something done for whatever reason, I just move it to like the top of my next to-do list so that I will take care of it first. finally making some dinner at 9 30 at night this is a very late dinner but that's because i had a really late lunch so i just wasn't hungry until now and i actually am still making a tuna pasta but i found a different recipe that i want to try on pinterest it looked really good and it has very simple ingredients like this is literally everything in the recipe so i just have some linguine pasta i feel like i never cook with this so it's gonna be really good and then i also have some cherry tomatoes the recipe actually says to use some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm really bummed that I don't have any. So yeah, I'm just gonna substitute it with these and hope it still tastes good. Got some garlic, a can of tuna, some crushed red pepper flakes because your girl loves spice, some Italian seasoning, two tablespoons of butter, salt, and olive oil. Very simple. Would you really believe I was cooking if I wasn't watching our garlic though? This is 
what I like to call a healthy balance and honestly I just can't resist them because they look so delicious. I actually have a slight obsession with chocolate chip cookies so yeah we kind of need them. By the way my dinner was some of the best pasta I have ever had. I'm not even kidding. It was so delicious. Highly recommend. What people forget to mention about cooking at home is that there's always a ton of dishes so it's not very fun. I'm starting to make Ari and I's tea so we can wind down for bed. I decided on making the chamomile herbal tea that I bought earlier at Trader Joe's. It sounded pretty good. Ari's gonna help me finish these in a second, but he's on the phone. So I'm going to start making them because he makes them a special way. So he's gonna do it. All right guys, I'm probably gonna end the video off here because I'm really tired and Ari and I are just gonna chill out and we actually finished demon slayer so i'm really sad because it was so freaking good like i didn't want it to end hopefully there'll be a season two yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye